John, put it right on the top of his back there for me, please. All you got to do. Right over his back. Right over his back. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Here's one more. Okay. Well, hey, everybody. I want to welcome you back to the range again. We're going to do something different here today. We're going to start with a, a kind of an introductory video of what is silhouette, what you should expect at your first match. And so we're going to begin with some range commands and kind of what to do with those. Now, before we do that, I want to introduce my two volunteers today. This is Courtney and this is Talon here. And so they're going to be our volunteers today. You're going to be watching them kind of walk through these commands as, as I explain them. Now, the first command and when you get to the range that you're going to hear is you're going to hear your relay number bring your equipment to the line. So you're going to hear your relay number and then they're going to say bring your equipment to the line. That's your cue to go get your rifle, your ammunition, and any other gear you may need and actually bring it to the firing line. And so relay one, bring your equipment to the firing line. So y'all go get your gear, okay, and bring it to the firing line. Now as they're getting their gear, uh, I want to explain kind of some other things that we're looking at doing here. If you're a spotter for this relay, and we're going to have a whole video on spotting a little bit later on, but if you're a spotter, this is also your cue to get yourself to the line as well. Make sure you're going to have binoculars or a spotting scope, maybe something to sit on, a pen, obviously the scorecard, uh, and definitely eye and ear protection. As you'll notice, we're already, we're already wearing here. So they're coming on back. So Talon, Courtney, come on back here. All right. Okay, now, there's something I want to point out about what Talon and Courtney are doing here. This is something very important. Notice how they're carrying their, their firearms today. They are carrying them with the muzzle pointed up. This is very critical. When you're at the firing line, you always want to travel with your muzzle pointing upwards. This is the safest direction. This way, if, if for some reason, which again, it shouldn't be loaded, but if for some reason it was and there was an accidental discharge, the round is going to go straight up. It's not going to hit anybody and everybody stays safe and has a good time for the day. Now, the next, once you get that, so I want you guys to go ahead and get in position here. You've had the command bring your equipment to the line. So I want you guys to go ahead and get position and you guys are going to just share a, a firing point here for this, this purpose here today. All right. And so Talon, I want you to just go ahead and we're going to lay yours just like this here. Okay. Now it's important to note that at this command, bring your equipment to the line. All you can do is bring your equipment to the line. Yet you can't load, you, you can't be actually handling your firearms, you can't be really doing anything. This is just your time to get your gear to the line. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. The next command that you're looking for is you're looking for the command for ready. Now, I want to talk about that command because that command varies for all the silhouette disciplines, be it air rifle, high power, uh, small bore, lever. Um, the ready period is a different length of time. Today, we're shooting some lever gun here. And so our ready period is 30 seconds long. Now, for you guys, what that means is when you hear the match director call the command for ready, you're going to have 30 seconds to load your gun. You can put one in the chamber. You can hold your gun. You can mess with your sights. Uh, you, can, you can do anything you want. The only thing you can't do is shoot the gun. Does that make sense, guys? So when you hear that command ready, you're going to have 30 seconds to put ammo in your gun. You're going to have plenty of time to mess with your sights if you want to. You're going to have plenty of time to even get in position and maybe, you know, maybe practice and kind of get settled. But you can't shoot. All right. So once you hear, so I'm going to give you guys the ready command. All right. And I want you guys, we're not, we're not shooting anything, but I just want you guys to just go ahead and pretend as though you were loading. Is that fair? Ready. So Talon, I want you to kind of, yeah, just keep it over here like this, okay? All right. Yeah, pretend as though you were loading it, okay? So go ahead and, and point her down range there for me, Talon, okay? All right. 
So you'll notice Talon, he's already ready. He's got a little single shot here that he's using here today. He's just shooting club class here at our match. Courtney, she's already readied up here with her lever gun as well. Now, at the end of that ready period, okay, and what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to hold your guns up for me. Go again, muzzles up. All right, muzzles up for me, perfect. Now, at the end of that ready time, you're gonna get the command that you're waiting for. Fire, okay? When that command comes, all right, and for you guys there at home watching, when that command comes, you guys are gonna have two minutes to shoot five shots, right? You're gonna have two minutes to shoot five shots. That's plenty of time, right? Plenty, plenty of time. Now, let me explain how your shots work, all right? And so I think our cameraman, he's looking down range right now. And so you're gonna notice, right? And I want you guys looking down there too. You notice there's 10 targets, right? 10 targets of your animal, okay? And you'll notice there's a, they're kind of staggered. There's low targets and there's high targets, right? Here's what we're gonna do at our range here. You're gonna shoot the low targets first, all right? You're gonna shoot the low targets first. Now, this is how the silhouette game works no matter where you go in the world. You will always, always, always start on the left target. You guys see that left target way out there? Yeah? You will always start on the left target and you will always work towards the right. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, you have five shots and you'll notice there's five animals in that, those, that lower bank, right? So that means one shot per animal. One shot per animal. You hit it and it falls over, great. Take a celebratory run or stay there and keep shooting, whichever you'd like to do. But you gotta keep moving, even if you miss it. So if you miss it, the next thing, you gotta move to the next animal to the right, right? You shoot that. You miss it, you hit it, it doesn't matter. You've gotta move to the next animal, okay? Once you fire your fifth shot, what you're gonna do is you're gonna unload your guns. I want you guys to unload your guns. They were never loaded to begin with, right? Okay, and I want you to place them back here in the stand, okay? Just right here. Yep, good job, Talon. Good job, Courtney. There you go. Okay, that's it for your first string, okay? Now your spotter is recording your score, okay? And so you guys don't have to worry about that. At this point, you're gonna have a 15 to 30 second time period to just kind of hang out. Congratulate yourself on hitting all five animals because we always hit all five, right? Because we're great shooters, right? Exactly, okay? Right, we never miss, so we're gonna congratulate ourselves. We're gonna think about what we did right Okay, and we're going to get ready to shoot the next five. Now, for the next five, you're going to hear the same command. Okay, you're going to hear that same ready command, which means you're going to have 30 seconds again to load your guns. You're going to have 30 seconds to adjust your sights, to adjust your position, to do anything you need to do. At the end of that, there's going to be the same fire command, at which point you're going to have the same two minutes. Okay, again, because we're shooting lever silhouette. You're gonna have the same two minutes to shoot those five animals. And at this time, you're gonna shoot the high animals, aren't you? All right, you're just gonna shoot the high animals. And you're gonna start on the left, and you're gonna to go to the right. Always left to right, always one shot per animal. At the end of that, okay, let's pretend we've just finished our, our second bank. We've just finished our fifth shot. At the end of that period, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of our equipment off the line, okay? So I want you guys to grab your rifles, grab your gear, remember, muzzles up, and we're gonna put our weapons back in the racks and move our gear off the firing line. Now, as they're talking that, as they're moving their gear off the firing line, that's it for your first relay. Uh, the only other thing you're gonna wait to hear is you're going to wait to hear for a, 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 range, a, cease, a general ceasefire on the range so that target setters can go forward. It's imperative that you do not move forward to the firing line until the match director, the range officer, gives that command. At that point, you're done on that animal. You'll proceed to the next animal. And it, remember, it always goes chickens, pigs, turkeys, rams. It always goes in that order. And so if you start on pigs, your next animal, when they call your relay, will always be turkeys. And if you started on chickens, your next animal would be pigs. And if you started on rams, your next animal would be chickens. It always progresses in that order, all right? 
Well, guys, you'll see some more videos coming up here a little bit later on, but it's been great seeing you, and we'll see you again on the range soon. Thanks. Perfect. All right.